I am Steve Sobel with Databricks, and I'm super excited to be here with um, with Nima Aligust, who is the CEO and co-founder of Vivo Therapeutics. Nima, thanks for being here. Uh, Steve, thanks so much for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, Vivo Therapeutics, what you guys do. Sure. So we, are, we are a biotech company, and our mission is really to, to find uh, uh, good, good drugs for cancer patients. Um, and the way we are trying to do it is by, um, by figuring out a way to test, uh, test drug molecules on actual cells from patients, uh, and then use that, use the data we generate uh, from that to train AI models that then allow us to, to, to predict uh, what drugs can be good for what patients. Especially what we do. Such an interesting application of data. Uh, you use Databricks. Tell us a little bit about how you use Databricks and like where, where we fit in terms of you know, how Vivo delivers its mission. I think, of course, Databricks has a very versatile, um, versatile set of product, products, and uh, and it's an incredible platform for anything that has to do with data. But uh, for us, the primary area that it actually made was hugely game changing was leveraging Mosaic AI. Uh, it, it happens that our own platform where we generate data is also called Mosaic. So I'm now I'm talking about Databricks Mosaic AI. <laughs> um, exactly. So uh, there's a match made in heaven, I guess. And we basically applied the same concept from natural language that Mosaic AI had done to build uh, uh, models of cell uh, and, uh, and, and you know, reduce the cost of training massively. Uh, I think the biggest model we have trained, it was supposed to cost us $500,000, $600,000. I think we are now at $20,000 uh, for training that model. So it has, it has made a huge difference for us. Amazing. And um, you know, when you think about where your company is going, like, and you know, clearly you're doing very important work, clearly you're you know, still early in your journey as a company. Uh, what are you most excited about as you look at the next three to five years of, of you know, the, how data is going to change biotech and, and the future of your company? So building models of cells, I think, is the next inflection point that we should be, uh, we should be aiming towards. That's exactly the mission that we are, uh, we are moving towards. The problem and the challenge is that um, we don't have the luxury of huge amounts of publicly available data that we had for natural language and protein language models. Mm -hmm. In natural language, we basically had the internet in protein language model. We had two decades of experimental data accumulated so that we can train those models. In this kind of human cell uh, universe, we don't have uh, as, much, uh, as much data. In fact, there's a 100x gap of data uh, for us to train these, uh, these next generation of models, this next inf to bring about this next inflation point. And, uh, and I believe that that's, that's where the focus should be, to, to close that data gap so that all of these talented machine learning folks like folks in our team uh, can, can actually build uh, machine learning models to bring about this next inflection point. And that's what we're focused on. Amazing. And such important work. And it's incredible how like fast the space is evolving. Um, you know, speaking of, you know, fast space is evolving. We're super excited that you are, uh, we just ran our Databricks uh, Generative AI Startup Challenge. Vivo was the grand prize winner, uh, which will include a uh, investment from Databricks Ventures. It includes some product credits, some other uh, marketing channels. Uh, so congratulations. We're super excited to, to celebrate that. As you think about, you know, uh, you know, kind of how you plan to use that and, and kind of, you know, what your plan for uh, for kind of using the prize? You know, where, where is your kind of head at there? Um, our, our mission for the next few years is to basically use this data set and some other data sets that we are, we are producing internally to train the next generation of these models of human cell uh, and basically bring about the GPT, um, uh, the, the GPT kind of moments for this, uh, this, this new generation of models using the kinds of tools that Databricks has provided for us and that, you know, allowed us to reduce the cost of our training by a factor of 20, 30 X over the last, over the last few months. Oh, the, the honor is ours. I mean, it's the work that you're doing is super important. It affects everyone's lives and, and that, you know, Databricks is part of that story. It's, yeah. it's humbling for us. So thanks for being a great customer and thanks for participating in, uh, in the Gen AI startup challenge as well. I really appreciate it. And again, thanks, thanks for having us and thanks for, this is an honor to be here.